All right, we got Premier League Team of the Season moments, Christopher and Kunku. Let's take a look at them and let's try them out. We're looking at a card that has five star screen moves, the four star weak, but high medium work rates, and he is 5'9. Critic acceleration type is mostly explosive. 91 pace, 90 shooting, 90 passing, 94 dribbling, 79 physical. When we do dive into his in game stats, this guy looks like he's going to be an all around great striker in this game. He looks amazing with that 94 dribbling, with that 94 agility, 96 balance, 91 reactions, 94 ball control, 95 dribbling, and 87 composure since this card is five foot nine you can already assume that this card's strength is definitely going to be his dribbling his lessig dribbling should be really responsive and i'm really excited to try it out hopefully we get good gameplay today just so i can get the full experience of his dribbling the recommended catch yourself for this card is going to be that hunter just so you can max out his pace and his shooting as much as possible with this pace only being at 91 for a striker i honestly do think it is very beneficial for a hunter on this card you're going to max out his acceleration and his sprint speed basically going to make his pace all the way up to 99 as a striker in this game that's definitely going to help him out a whole bunch and let's see how quick he can really feel in this game and also with the hunter you get some nice upgrades to his attacking positioning finishing and shot power obviously with the plus four to his attacking positioning it's going to allow his attacking ai to feel really good in this game and with the upgrade to his finishing and his shot power, it's going to allow this guy to be really consistent and a lot more reliable when it does come to finishing. For striker, he has some really good passing stats and 91 sharp pass, 87 long pass, and 91 vision. Just going to help this guy be a little bit more consistent when it does come to passing. And when it does come to his physical stats with 75 strength and 70 aggression, since this card is 5'9", by default, shorter players aren't really going to be the strongest on the ball. Hopefully he can surprise us, but I'm not expecting too much in that category. When we do take a look at his play styles, he has 10 play styles and 3 play style pluses in the Tactical Plus, the Flare Plus, and the Travella Plus. Obviously, with the Tactical Plus, it's going to allow his control dribbling to feel really, really good in this game. And it's going to add to the potential of how good his dribbling can be in this game. Same thing with the Flare Plus. Performance Flare animations with texture appropriate can add to the effectiveness of his dribbling. And lastly, with the Travella Plus, I expect this playstyle to be really, really effective inside the box. Not quite sure how effective it is going to be outside the box because of the recent nerf. But hopefully, I can surprise myself and hopefully we can hit a Travella or two outside the box. Really, really happy that this card at least has the base finesse shot playstyle. It just adds to the versatility of his finishing when you combine this with the Travella Plus. Inside the box, this playstyle should be really effective. And hopefully, we can see if it can be effective outside the box as well. With the incisive pass, ping pass, and long ball pass, it's going to add to the consistency when it does come to passing with this card. Specifically with his through ball, specifically with his German passes, and specifically with balls in the air. First touch is going to help out with this ball control. Trickster is going to allow you to have a lot of fun utilizing those skill moves with his 5-star skills. And with the press movement playstyle, one of the most underrated playstyles in this game, it's going to add to the effectiveness of his elastic dribbling and allow him to be really effective when it does come to shooting the ball away from defenders. For this review, we will be trying out Nkunku as our main striker in a 4-3-2-1. Just so we can be our main focal point of our attack and just so we can test out his attacking ai as much as possible so with that being said let's hop into the gameplay i think this card has a lot of potential to be a very good card and let's go and see how good this card can really be Pick some good space there use that left stick use that left stick well done yes and kuku create space well done Golasso and Kunku, well done. Like, there's no more like dip or like actual pace to the Travellas anymore. It's like the ball travels in slow motion now and like you're praying it's gonna go in. Left stick, well done. I mean, if a player has the gold technical play style, you really have to utilize it to your advantage, man. Dude, look, just use it to your advantage. Look how broken it is. Get Kuku on it. Great run. Great finish. Wow. What a save I can see is how is he not scoring that? Love that. Wow. What a save. Don't tell me this guy's going to be inconsistent when it comes to finishing. Go on, Kuku. Great run, my boy. He does not feel that fast, man. Akanji just catching up to him like it's nothing. Hey yeah, guys, his lush stick is fantastic though, man. There you go. Good space there. Turns. Finishes. Love that, man. Love another great space there. That's beautiful. I like his AI already, man. Oh, go on, Kuku. Use that pace. Chip the keeper. Oh my god. Never chip with this card. Please, don't ever do it again. Why didn't I just finesse it there like Travella something? Come on. Yes. 
Yeah, I use that lustig dribbling, dude. Oh my god, what a save by Loris, man. And this card is prone to missing some good chances. Fantastic. Am I trolling or something? Or like, is it just this card? There oh my god, again. Three out of three chances he should have scored. He's that goal technical. Near post. There you go. I guess I gotta go near post with this guy against Loris. His regular shot is not that effective, in my opinion. At least just inconsistent. Because I used the finesse shot there and it went in with ease. Maybe you just have to really utilize the finesse shot and the Travella with this guy. Golazo. But he wants to back off. That's what happens. Nice little run there. Hit him with the quick turn cheese. Love that. Wow. All right, Travella. Look how slow it travels, dude. Like, what did they do to this thing? Such a big disappointment. They did it for no reason, too. mess with him a little bit fantastic look at that if he's not gonna step up or if he comes up late he's gonna get burned by this card look how great his left stick dribbling is man another great running behind the back line Vanessa last never mind it's good effort though maybe not the best angle but it was worth a shot Our post. Lovely. See, right now against this Loris, his normal shot is being really effective. But in that pass game, it's like he was saving everything. Interesting. Another one. Finesse shot. Golasso. See, he's really effective with this finesse shot. One on one with the keeper. Get through that in Kuku. Nice turn. Beats him. Fantastic. It gets by Marquez. Far post, well done. Also, oh, now this guy wants to be consistent when it comes to finishing with his regular shot. Golasso with the finesse outside the box. All right, now let's really pay attention to my guy in Kuku's AI here. Let's bring the ball out wide with Alvarez. Let's see what he does. Okay, he puts himself in the box. By default, that's what they should be doing. Roaming on top of the box right now. Picks up the wider area because Alvarez went inside. I like that, good. Still staying out wide because Alvarez is a little more centrally. Now they swap at the right time. All right, let's bring the ball out wide with him. Bring inside now. It's a good space in there. I like that. Turns. Finishes. Unlucky with the shot, though. Put out wide to Odegaard. He's holding his central position right now. Good. Put out wide. Let's see what he does. Yeah, puts himself inside the box. Comes a little bit shorter, which is actually pretty interesting. Kind of just roaming on top of the box now. In his central position up top. Good space right there. Great turn. Great finish. Well done. I mean, he's consistently just putting himself on top of the box and kind of roaming around to find open spaces. Really happy about that, guys. Spots it back to our right back. Makes his way back centrally instead of going out wide. Good space recognition there behind the back line. Good. All right. So in terms of his attacking AI, he's doing all the right things a striker should be doing. I feel like I say that a lot about a lot of strikers in this game, but it's true. As long as they are picking up the right spaces on top of the box, making the right runs behind the back line, interchange positions at the right time, and then quickly reset back into their central position. That's all you want to see from them, and that's exactly what Nkuku is doing. Now, obviously, there are ultra meta players, AIs like Mbappe and all the, you know, ultra meta players in this game. But with these type of players, it's really cool to see that they're all doing the right things. Yes, guys. So after using this Nkuku card, I can definitely say that he is very good. I think the price tag he's at right now is a good value for coins. There's a lot of good features about this card, so let's get right into it. And the best thing about this card, hands down, has to be his dribbling. His less like dribbling is extremely responsive. And when used correctly, you can be really effective with it, which will lead you to create a lot of space with this card and will also lead you to score a lot of goals as well. I think the press proven playstyle is the reason why his less like dribbling is so good. One of the most underrated playstyles, and you can really notice a difference. With the technical playstyle, obviously his controlled dribbling feels amazing. 
Combine this with the Lessig dribbling and you can be really, really effective with this card. When it does come to his shooting, for the most part, I did find that this guy was consistent and very reliable. There were some times where he did miss some easy chances, but for the most part, I still think that he was pretty consistent. With the finesse shot playstyle and with the Javella plus playstyle, it allows this guy to be very versatile when it does come to finishing and very consistent inside the box when you use these two mechanics. Now, the Travella Plus outside the box isn't as effective because in my opinion, the Travellas are absolutely horrible in this game. The ball moves in slow motion. There's no dip to it, which just allows it to be extremely useless. But inside the box, this place out right here allows this guy to be very clinical. The same thing with the finesse shot inside the box. It's very clinical. And if you can get the right angles with this guy outside the box, it can be very, very effective as well. I thought his pace was okay. I have mixed feelings about it. Even after the Hunter, he honestly didn't even feel that quick. When this guy is in space, for the most part, he is pretty effective. But don't expect this guy to be very effective when you use his pace to get by a lot of defenders. And when it does come to his physical stats, I thought he was pretty strong on the ball. I think he feels a little bit stronger than that 75 strength, in my opinion. Which is honestly a big bonus with this card, especially since he is really good at dribbling. As a whole, this card is very, very good for the price that he's at right now. For the price of 160,000 coins, I honestly do think that is a pretty good price tag for this card. Is he ultra meta? I don't think he is. Is he a part of the meta? Yes, because he's very good at dribbling. So if you guys are on a budget, if you guys don't have many, many coins, I highly suggest you guys go out and pick up this in Cuckoo card. If you guys do have a lot of coins saved up, then obviously go out and pick up some better options. But once again, if you guys are on a budget, definitely go out and pick up this in Cuckoo card. Definitely won't regret it. You'll score a lot of goals for you and you'll definitely have a lot of fun using them so with that being said if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like that'll be much appreciated subscribe for some more eafc content and for some more play reviews make sure to follow all the socials in the description and as always i'll see you guys in the next one